Most law enforcement interactions, you don't want to be communicating to them without legal representation. Mm -hmm. Multiple purchases of the same type of firearm over a pretty close period of time. You know, what the ATF is looking for is essentially, what is he doing with them? Maybe he's trying to be an unlicensed seller. You know, if they're all in your inventory, if they haven't left your possession, then that's a real easy fix. That brings us to number two, and that's if the firearm is recovered at a crime scene. When they come back to the first person who purchased this firearm, if they don't have some documentation of where the firearm went, it can cause some problems. Most people can and should report the loss or theft of that firearm as quickly as they realize it's gone. You sold a gun, which has wound up either at a crime scene or in the hands of a criminal. What's important about this is documenting the sale of your firearm. This is his license, I've got his name, here's the info, you know, please get off my doorstep. Every situation is totally different and unique and only someone licensed in your state can help you through that.